directly, I mean, and bring them. We hope I don't blink with you. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube, what it is, what it do, it's your boy Fresh, and I'm back with another one. I know the last time I told y'all, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna start being consistent, I'm gonna get y'all two videos a month, then I went ghost after dropping two videos, and I ain't dropping February, I ain't dropping March, but, but, hear me out, a lot of great things happen. So let me see, back in February, I went up to New York for New York Fashion Week. I'm gonna say, but that was a great experience. I was running around town with my homegirls, running around town with Nick, just like doing my thing, just in the mix, going to fashion shows. And then I did a Fresh in the Streets up there, put out a little calling thing on TikTok, like, yo, I'm in New York, who wants a free film pictures? Like, get up with me while I'm here. So I linked up with a couple people, and the pictures turned out good. Like, I like the pictures, especially the ones with Asia. Those turned out really well, and I'm glad I met her. She was a really cool person. But yeah, New York Fashion Week, I was up there doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? Getting fleek, getting fresh. So that was cool. I didn't really record nothing though, like it was strictly just me taking pictures. I didn't record pretty much nothing, not even on my phone, I didn't record nothing. And then March, your boy got a promotion. <laughs> your boy got a promotion, I'm talking about more money, bigger bag, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I can finally start to like invest in more stuff, like invest in more lighting gear. I want to get another camera. Of course, I'm a Fuji film guy, and I'm thinking I want to cop that X H2S. I really been feeling that camera. I shot with it when I was up in New York, and I like to have felt in my hand. I like the pictures I was getting, and it does really great video work. So like right now, I'm shooting on the Fuji film XT30, but I think that would be a really like big upgrade and a good upgrade for myself and the work that I plan on doing because it was either between that or I can go with the 6k black magic pro which isn't bad but it doesn't take pictures now I'm kind of don't want to limit myself because I actually want to start picking up clientele doing work for other people kind of making some of my money back with all this stuff I'm doing so I figured I need something that can both take video and pictures so I think I'm gonna get another Fuji film. Not sure if I'm gonna keep this one. I might keep it though, just for like little small vlogs. That way I ain't gotta carry around a bigger camera. I could just, you know, toss this on a quick tripod real quick, do my little one too. But it's been a damn good two months since I've been gone, I gotta say. So yeah, your boy, I'm back in Atlanta, of course. I'm shooting again. I'm back outside, I'm back shooting. I ain't did a fresh film, a fresh in the streets thing in a minute. So I think the last one I probably did was like early, well, it was in February when I was in New York. I did that and I ain't did one since then. I did go to Chicago a couple weeks ago and I did a story on my mama. So that's coming soon, which is gonna be great. Um, but yeah, linked up with my homegirl Akila and we did a shoot. And honestly, I love how these pictures turned out. We kinda, at first, it was kinda like a last minute thing, but she's a stylist out here and she works in the film industry and then I'm a photographer. So we kinda just, and creative director myself. So we just kinda came up with some things I knew we was gonna shoot outside. I knew kind of like <clears throat> the environment. We wanted to go like that nature kind of environment, like open grass, open field, outside type of thing. But the styling she completely did on her own, the outfit, she kind of put it together. I sent her a couple reference photos for like the looks that we was kind of going for. 
But man, she did phenomenal with the styling. I mean, she's a stylist, so <laughs> no brainer there. But man, she did a really great job, and I'm happy with how these pictures turned out. Like, we probably gonna do we gonna do a couple more. I know for a fact, like she's trying to get more into modeling. I'm always looking for people to shoot, so we definitely got some more stuff that we finna have lined up. But if you haven't been paying attention, bro, go follow my TikTok and go follow me on Instagram. Like I've been dropping more reels, been dropping more TikToks. I'm getting more cinematic and more thoughtful with the content that I'm putting out. And I had an epiphany during that two months. I was scrolling through my TikTok trying to figure out like, yo, like what videos am I really be like popping off, really be going viral? And then I went to Chicago and I did a podcast with my homie Femi. Shout out to my bro. We did the podcast and I recorded some bits of me like talking and I put it up on Instagram and mad people was just like loving how like just loving the video, how I was talking. They love the podcast, but they also love the video that I did with it. Like they love seeing me talk. They love seeing me talk about things that I'm passionate about and actually like. And so I'm like, damn, if people like this, and then obviously my most viral TikTok video is my Kanye video, which that did almost like, what, 700,000 views. I realize I'm done trying to be perfect. I'm always trying to be perfect. Even like if you go back to my other YouTube videos, you see me trying to like, I'm talking all soft-spoken and I'm trying to be all grammatically correct and trying to be right with everything. Nah, we not doing that no more. I realize people love all my videos were just me being me me being me the same Tyreek that my friends see on a daily basis people love those videos so I figured bro, I just gotta start being myself with that being said man I'm out of here I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one make sure y'all follow me on TikTok and Instagram both at Fresh Film Projects follow my personal Instagram at Tattoo Row check out the work I've been doing check out my videos I'm always dropping TikTok videos, even if it's just small little videos. So go follow me on there. Make sure y'all subscribe, like this video, comment. Let me know what y'all been shooting with, what projects y'all working on, what new film stocks y'all trying out, because they always dropping something new. Yeah, let me know what's going on in y'all world. Till next time.